guys, I'm Satchel Snow. We're the Wildlife Brothers. And this is the Eastern Gray Tree Frog. Eastern gray tree frog, also known as the northern gray tree frog, is the only tree frog species native to New England. Absolutely. And one of the cool things is that at this time of year in the summer, they're going to be coming down from the canopy and starting to breed. So we're actually able to get up close with them, something that you can't normally do. Now this is such a dynamic species, you can see they're hopping all over the place. They're pretty tricky to work with at times. Now this is an arboreal species, meaning they spend most of their time up in the treetops, and they're also nocturnal, which is why we're out here at night but those things make them pretty tricky to get a handle on. And as you can see, they are amazing climbers. They have sticky pads on their feet that allow them to cling to almost any surface, including our hands, tree bark, and even glass. All those calls you hear behind us are actually eastern gray tree frogs mating. They come down from the treetops to the water's edge where they'll be mating, and there are hundreds of them all congregated in this one spot, which is actually very uncommon. And why is that uncommon, Harrison? So eastern gray tree frogs are solitary, and the only time they congregate like this is during the mating season because it's easier for the females to find a potential partner and then lay their eggs. One of my favorite things about the eastern gray tree frog is their namesake coloration. You can see on their back that they have that beautiful cryptic gray pattern that helps them blend into the treetop environment where they live. And they can mimic moss, lichen, and even the wood of trees because they can vary from a pale gray color all the way through brown and even green so for a predator from afar it can be really hard to spot these guys up in the treetops and you tell me a little bit more about that change in color harrison absolutely so the color change is pretty gradual it's not like a chameleon where it happens right in front of your eyes but they can change colors this one was actually quite a bit lighter when we found it and one of the cool things is if that color change doesn't protect them from a predator, they have another trick up their sleeve. And that trick is aposomatic coloration. So what that means, it's a warning sign to predators saying, hey, I'm toxic, don't eat me, and it's a bright color. So on these tree frogs, on their back legs underneath, it's a bright orange yellow color. So when they hop away from a predator, it flashes that super bright color and says to the predator, I'm nasty, I'm disgusting, don't eat me. And these frogs do not get very big. The max size for this species is about two inches. So there are all sorts of predators that would love to take one down. Snakes, bullfrogs, small birds, lots of different species would try and eat a tree frog, so they really need those defenses. And another fascinating thing about this species is it's pretty easy to tell the males and females apart. So if you look at the bottom of their chins, the females will actually have bright white chins like the one I'm holding, but if you look at these guys here, the males have either a brown or gray patch right under their throat so that you can easily tell them apart. And one of the coolest things about the males is they are the only ones that call. So all of those frogs you hear behind us are males looking for a mate. And so the northern gray tree frog, the only native species of tree frog in New England, an absolutely beautiful animal. And I'm so glad that Harrison and Evan invited me out here to find these cute little guys tonight. And I just wanted to say guys, if you did enjoy this video, go check out the Wildlife Brothers channel now because they're some of my favorite wildlife YouTubers and I learned so much from watching their channel. Thank you so much for having us, man. It's our pleasure. and. To to see great tree frogs in the wild is such a treat. So absolutely, thanks for having us on the channel and we couldn't have asked for a better night out here. Definitely.